How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and stop. Just stop charging your iPhone over 80%. Let me explain. First things first, you gotta understand that when I say you should stop charging your iPhone from 80% and up, I'm talking about your battery lifespan. So I'm not talking about anything about security, like overheating or your battery exploding or anything like that. No, no, no. I'm talking about your lifespan. So how to actually get the most out of your iPhone battery? That's it, okay? iPhone batteries, Apple batteries are extremely safe. So as you probably know, the iPhone uses lithium ion batteries, just like your Apple Watch, your iPad, your Mac. Apple only uses lithium ion batteries just because they are the best technology in the market right now for mass production, so for mass products. But lithium ion batteries, they have a little trick to it because of their chemistry, because of the way they are designed. So when you're talking about lithium ion batteries and Apple specifies that on their website, they have two different stages when you're talking about charging. So there's stage one, which is charging from zero to 80%, and there is stage two, which is from 80 to 100. And I'm saying zero to 80, but it's charging between that margin. So from 30 to 50, or from 50 to 80, whatever. So that zero to 80 margin, that's one stage, and that 80 to 100 margin, that's the second stage. The first stage is called fast charging. And that's the safest stage, that's the safest way to charge your iPhone, keeping it on that margin, okay? Because it's gonna charge much faster and there will be no problems to your battery, no high stress level, no high voltages, nothing like that. And there's 80 to 100, which is called trickle charging, which is not very good. It's really not very good for a battery. Let's talk about all that. According to Battery University, there are two important things that you should avoid doing when you're talking about charging your lithium ion battery. And both of them have to do with that 80 to 100% margin. That same stage two that we just saw from Apple's own website. So thing number one, just avoid charging your iPhone over 80%, like 80% and up. Like, as I said before, and as we saw from Apple's website, there's a difference when we get to that margin from 80 and up. And that's generally due to high levels of stress of the battery because of high levels of tension, high voltage. So the battery works in a much, much more stressful way when it needs to be charged from 80 and up. It's bad to the battery to be uh, required to charge over 80 percent it's more stressful more voltage more tension it's bad for the battery for the chemistry of the battery itself and thing number two which is even more important is actually keeping your iphone battery charged at 100 percent so if charging it from 80 to 85 to 90 to 100 is already bad keeping it at 100 is the worst you can do to your battery. So if you leave your iPhone plugged in to the charger at 100% every day for a few hours, you're gonna definitely notice in a few weeks and months how bad it is for your battery, for your battery lifespan as a whole. Your battery health is gonna go down so much faster than if you take care and if you actually pay attention to this zero to 80, and 80 to 100. This is extremely important, guys. And to tie everything together, the information we saw from Apple's website and the information from Battery University, we have even more data from Apple themselves that you can find on your iPhone just to make it very clear that keeping your iPhone below 80% is much better than charging it over 80. So if you actually grab your iPhone and you go to settings and then you go to battery, and battery health, you're gonna see the last section is gonna be called optimized battery charging. And by default, it's turned on. And what it pretty much tells you is when you have it turned on, your iPhone will make, it, will make its best to actually keep your iPhone battery below 80% when you're charging it overnight. So if you connect, if you go to sleep, right? Like you're going to bed and then you leave your iPhone plugged in 
overnight. Uh, it's gonna learn your habits and see your uh, what time your alarm is set to. Use a little bit of machine learning and AI and everything like that to kind of figure out when you're gonna need it again the next day in the morning, and it'll keep your iPhone battery at 80%, even though it's charged, even though it's plugged in for many hours, it's gonna keep it at 80% just to avoid charging over 80 and getting that trickle charge, which is so bad. And then in the morning, when you're close to wake up, it's gonna actually charge the remaining 20%. Just so you can see how important it is for your iPhone to be kept below 80%, your iPhone battery to be kept charged below 80%. And last but not least, you may ask me, okay, so how should I actually charge my iPhone to have the best lifespan? Well, the recommendation is charge your iPhone throughout the day. Uh, keep it between that zero to 80, as I said many times throughout this video. So then, for example, you can wake up in the morning with your battery at like 60% per se. Uh, and then throughout the day, uh, in the afternoon, let's say it's at 20. So then you can charge again to 70 or to 75. And then when you're going to sleep, the next day you're gonna have your iPhone again at 60 or 50 or whatever. Or you can try charging it overnight if you have the optimized battery charging feature turned on because it's gonna give you kind of that same effect. It won't charge over 80% just when it's close to be needed. So then it's kind of the same thing. And then during the day, try and avoid charging it to 100. Like it's 70, let it go, unplug, you're good. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below and also the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you're gonna get notified whenever I post a new video. And also leave your comment down below. Tell me what you think about this subject, about your experience, what you think about all that. And uh, keep in mind that everything I talked about in this video was not from my mind, from my head. I didn't make it up or anything like that. It was straight from Apple Battery University and very, very reliable sources, okay? So that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in a few days as usual. Bye-bye.